So guys, I did a video the other day regarding a um, the Jobby Wavo pod, which was a streaming uh, gaming microphone, which is a quite a small form factor one, which actually did really, really well compared to like, say, uh, the HyperX, I think it's a quad, HyperX quad, I, I really don't know, I've only just got it. Um, it relatively did quite well, but today we're looking at a similar product from the company, but slightly different as well. It's also a microphone, but this is the Wavo Air. So we're just going to get straight into it and see where we go. So as always, don't forget to like, comment down below if this video does help you in any shape or form. And as always, don't forget to subscribe because why not? It's free. So guys, this is what we're taking a look at, and this is the Jobby Movo. Now, this is one of their newer lines. This is the Wavo, uh, the Wavo Air. We did a video the other day regarding their Wavo Pro, which, if you do remember, was the streaming uh, gaming microphone or whatever you want to call it. This is pretty much what we reviewed the other day. We're now looking at something slightly different, so we're just going to get straight into it. So this is what we actually get in the box. So little magnetic catch on the side there, which is quite nice, and then this is what we are greeted with. Which alone, I've always said presentation really is key when it comes to these sort of products because it's the first line of what you're going to see. So I have to admit, they've packaged it extremely well. So I'm going to pick this out, move it to one side. I want to see what else we get in the box. So one side, we get all of our cables. And I'm going to get these all out of one chunk and then go through them bit by bit to a little bit explain a little bit more. And this side, we do have what looks like a SIM card reader. So we're going to have a look at that as well. And then in this side, we do have the user manuals as well as some extra clips going on here i believe that is it to close out put that to one side and we'll start going through what we've got here so first of all we do get a little user manual this is pretty much going to tell you everything about how you actually connect these guys up together and little bits about like how they actually clip onto yourself and where they go now starting off with the cables we get a small usb to usb type c cable going on there we have another one as well because there is a few other devices so this allows you to charge them um, at the same time we've got one there and i think we also have another one there as well so that's three usb uh, to usb type c chargers which is nice to see we get some silica gel just remember don't eat this it's really bad for you pop that straight in the bin so we have a we have a 3.5 mil jack here, which is um, which is also being coiled. We have a straight cable and also an angry, a 90 degree cable. I'm assuming this is going to be for um, for a camera and then into one of the devices, which I'm 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 not 100 percent sure with. And then we also have another one here, but both 3.5 mil audio jacks are at 90 degrees. And then we have the microphones themselves. We have two of these, so a 3.5 mil jack into the actual audio interface uh, microphone, which also has has a wind guard on the outside but they also do supply you oh nearly dropped it do supply you with two little uh, fluffy black ones so these are going to be more for wind guards which is nice to see i'm not sure if these are for the actual microphones or if they're for the devices but we'll find that one out as well so you get two of them and then we also get this little thing i wasn't sure what it was at first i thought it was a necklace but it's actually a magnetic connector for the actual devices so i grab one of these which one is it there we go so as you can see there so it's a little magnetic connector so if i just pop this on the back of here for instance ah there we go locked it in sorry my bad I didn't lock it in so that goes like that and then you just click that on like that so that can just sit on your on your person itself so you don't actually have to click it on anything you can just use the magnet which is something i'm yet to see so i really like to see that so we've looked at the accessories now what we're going to do is actually have a look at the equipment itself so we have a box here going on here so we have the actual interfaces going on here i'm assuming these are the transmitters and also the receivers as well as we have the so like i said before this is the receiver so and then we also have two transmitters here as well so you can have two parties speaking while one is uh, transmitting to the device you're actually going to be using so this one will be connected to your phone your camera your laptop all that good stuff so this would be connected to that and then these ones would actually be connected to your person so um you just use the use the ports on the side for the microphones and then you would transmit via that way now we do have some more pods here so we do have one for uh 
um, a mount microphone and then we also do have a, a shoe as well so if you want if you don't want to use the magnets and see if you want to plug this on top of your camera you can just use this and then that will sit on top of the camera just like that which is also nice to see and then we also have the traditional clip so if you just want to use the clip for instance and you just want to clip this on your vest you can also use that as well it does come with two of them so if both parties want to clip it onto their shirt their vest or whatever they can use this as well so like we did say before it does also come with a little magnet so if i just pop that in the back there and click it in like i said we can you can use the magnetic shoe that comes with it and just click on like that and then you can just use it like say if it goes around your neck or if you don't actually want it on your person you just want it around you you can also use it like that as well so that is pretty much all of the accessories so what we're actually going to do now is actually do an audio test so we're going to swap over to a face view and i'm going to swap over from the microphone i'm using right now to actually using these guys so let's go do that now so guys currently at the moment i am running through the hyper x quad or something like that not too sure i only got it recently i mainly got it for when i'm starting to do a little bit more streaming now i did get the blue yeti microphone but for the life of me i can't figure out how the hell to use it properly so i've kind of left it alone for a little while until i start to get a little bit more familiar with how to use it properly i'm still learning how to use it but this one just seems pretty um pretty simple turn it on click a button i'm done and dusted but what we're actually here to test out is the jobby wavo the jobby wavo So what we're actually doing is testing out this guy. So this is the Jobby Wavo and this is the Wavo Air. So at the moment, I have one clipped onto my shirt and I have the little microphone clipped on right here. And the other one is clipped on top of my camera and that is just fed straight into it. So at the moment, I am talking through this microphone. Sorry about the noise. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm on OBS Studio at the moment. I'm going to isolate this camera or I can just do it like this. I think that's one thing i really like about this uh, microphone i said isolate camera i meant microphone so the one thing i do like about this is that i can just tap that but what we're here to do is to actually test out the wavo um microphone capability so i'm going to mute this so you shouldn't be able to hear me and i'm going to swap over to the camera so what you're hearing right now is the quality from this so this video has not been edited in audio wise i haven't touched anything so what you are hearing now is pretty much what the basic audio is like from here to my camera so like i said i am talking through the microphone which is right here so if i get closer i can obviously be louder but the great thing about one of these things is that i don't need to be sat in front of a microphone i can move around i can do anything i want if i want to talk to the wall you can still hear me the exact same. So when it comes to something like this, they are gonna be perfect. So in the likes of if I'm outside and my camera is a far length away, like I did a video about the tripod a while ago that stood really tall, but I couldn't get myself in the camera unless I was stood for far, far away because my lens isn't as wide as I'd like. So having something like this is great because now I don't have to be staring at the front of a microphone. I have to, you know, position it properly. It has to be within length, you know, just in case it can hear certain sounds. I just have this basic now. I can leave this connected to the top of my camera and leave it there. Um, it's already connected. If I turn it off and turn it back on, it just automatically reconnects. If all of a sudden I get someone else in the studio and I want to talk, all I need to do is grab this one which is a secondary one and just give it to a friend of mine or whoever's here give them this give them a microphone and they're talking to the exact same device and it's just easy it really is simple and i have to admit for the basic audio quality it really is amazing i have to admit so i have to say if you are interested in transferring from one of these microphones to one of these like i said head down the links in the description all the links will be there for this product as well as the other microphone I did the other day, which was the Wavo Pod, which is more of a gaming, streaming, podcast kind of microphone. And that as well did amazing when it came to the audio and quality test. So why don't you let me know down in the comment section below how this is actually performing and you can be the judge. Is it this one? Or do we just go back to basic condenser microphones? Guys, just a quick one. What I forgot to mention was that actual pairing process. I think it'll be easier to do it like this rather than do it while I'm on a face view. So if you follow the instructions that are in the manual, you can't go wrong. So like I said, we do have a transmitter and we also have the receiver. So A, 
being the receiver just which is this one and then this one being the transmitter so what we actually have to do if we follow the instructions step by step we can't go wrong so it says long press uh, to turn on or off the receiver so if i grab the receiver so long press on that will turn it on so as we can see it is currently flashing blue and then what we need to do is press and pairing press the pairing indicator so let's see if i can get this zoomed in so we have a pairing indicator there so what we need is the little sim tool and what we're going to do is simply just pop that in that little hole there we go we can see that it's now double flashing so that means it's ready to pair so if i grab the little this one as well hold that down for a few seconds and there we go we can see immediately and i mean that was immediately these are now connected so what we can do from here so solid red light which will be about 90 minutes estimated remaining time but these are obviously um blue so flash and blue light which means unpaired but then a solid blue light which means that it is paired successfully the manual pairing needs to be done only for the first time so after this every time you turn it off then turn it back on these will automatically pair so these are also charged by usb type c you do get three usb type c chargers so you can charge them all at the same time instead of one after the other so that i do like so what we need to do first is before i actually get this set up to do a microphone test we need some cables so i am going to use this with the camera that i'm using at the moment uh, so we are going to do a functional test doing that way so this one is what i'll be connecting to my camera and then this one is the one i'll be connecting to myself so i'm going to use this cable for my camera which is that one is going to go into the into here and then this one's going to go into our camera and then i'm going to use this microphone to plug into here and talk with so there we have it guys that was the video now i have to admit that it, it was easy it really was an easy way to do it so like jobby have done an amazing job with these with both of these products i've reviewed like i said the wavo pod was an incredible microphone small form factor different accessories of mountain hardware and all that and then it comes to the Wavo, Wavo Air. Sorry, I keep forgetting the name. I keep saying Air Wavo. The Wavo Air. This is now going to allow me to clip this onto my shirt. Do as what I what do whatever I want. I can walk around the room. I can you know if I've got the camera sat here and I move away, the the audio quality doesn't change. The audio quality, the audio quality stays the same. But my voice apparently won't speak. Um, so I have to admit they have done incredibly well. Like I said, you do get two of these guys. So if it's say me and a friend talking, we can both connect to the same receiver and actually talk like that. And as again, the audio is not disturbed. It's not interrupted. Uh, all three devices are powered and charged. Uh, sorry, all three devices are charged by USB Type C. So you get three cables. So you can charge them all at the same time instead of having to charge one, pull it off, charge one, pull it off, charge one. So you can do it all at the same time. So they really have thought of everything, even to like the mountain hardware with the magnets on the back. You've got the pull strings. You've got the clip on the side of your shirt. You've got your uh, soft shoe or hard shoe for your cameras as well. So they really have thought of everything. So thank you very much for sending the products over. I appreciate it. Do you guys uh, down in the comment section, if you are interested in getting them, like I said, links are in the description. But if you do get them and you have any form of issues or problems, let me know in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help.